this video will briefly discuss log p. Log p is an important parameter in predicting lipophilicity. Now, lipophilicity determines whether or not the drug will be able to cross the lipid membranes, so aka absorption. Log p octanol over water equals the log concentration of drug in octanol and the concentration of drug in water. To visualize this, we can take a flask, fill it halfway with water and halfway with octanol, which is an oily substance, add the drug to it, give it a shake, and here's what we will see. So in this example, the, there are, let's say, five drug molecules in water and one drug molecule in the oil, meaning that in this case, the drug is more hydrophilic than lipophilic, affecting membrane absorption. All right, so the log partition has what's known as a log scale. And this log scale ranges from negative five to five. The negative numbers being for the hydrophilicity and the positive numbers being for the lipophilicity. And as you can see, to determine the results, if we get a result of positive two, then the drug is 100 times more likely to be in octanol than in water. And if it was negative two, then it would be the opposite. Log P is predictive of solubility, permeability, plasma protein binding, and adsorption to packaging. All right, so now that we have got that covered, what is log D? Well, as we know that different components of the body have different pH, like the blood, stomach, and intestines. So log D accounts for these pH changes. So instead of octanol over water, it's octanol over pH buffer. So basically, log D is log P in a specific pH. Thank you very much for watching.